Hello, I'm Rowan Shaw with Far From Standard Tutoring, and today we'll be looking at implicit differentiation. What does implicit differentiation mean? Well, differentiation just means taking the derivative, and implicit just describes a function. A function can either be explicit or implicit. Implicit means it's implied, explicit means it's just right there, it's explaining things to you. This is an explicit function because everything is uh, in terms of x. y equals something in terms of x. Whereas here, the x's and the y's are sort of jumbled up. So this is an implicit function. Now, so far we've been looking at explicit differentiation, which is how to find the derivative of something like this, which would just be y prime equals 2x plus 4. Now, finding the derivative of an implicit function is what implicit differentiation is. Here at FFS, we have a simple three-step process that you should use when you're doing implicit differentiation. The first thing to keep in mind is that the derivative of y is dy dx, and that the derivative of x is 1. Let's keep these two things in mind, and let's try to find the derivative of this guy. Well, we're going to take the derivative of each term individually. That's how you do implicit differentiation. What's the derivative of y squared? Well, it's tempting to say 2y. But keeping, and this brings us to step number two, the chain rule in mind, the derivative is actually 2y times the derivative of y, which, as we said from step number one, is just dy dx. Now, the second term, here's where, again, we take the second rule in mind, which is the product rule. What is the derivative of x times y? Now, since neither x nor y is a constant, we actually have to use the product rule. So using the product rule, the derivative of xy is just the derivative of x, which is 1, times y as it is, plus, now x as it is, times the derivative of y, which as we said is dy dx. Now finally, plus x squared, the derivative of x squared is 2x, and again we multiply by the derivative of x, but that's just 1. And now all that equals 0, because the derivative of 4 is 0. So notice how we're taking the derivative of both sides. So that's a very legitimate operation if you just take the derivative of both sides. Now, the final step, step number three, separate out the terms with the dy dx in it. So this term has a dy dx in it. This doesn't. This does. This doesn't. So we are going to take these two terms and leave them on this side of the equation, the left side of the equation, and we're going to take all the terms without the dy dx and take them to the other side. So now we have 2y dy dx plus x dy dx equals, now we'll subtract y from both sides, so here we have a negative y, and then we'll also subtract 2x from both sides, so we have negative 2x. Now what we'll do is, since all of these terms have a dy dx, we can take a dy dx out in common. So taking the dy dx out in common, we're left here with 2y plus x, and that equals negative y minus 2x. And finally, solving for dy dx, we get that dy dx equals negative y minus 2x divided by 2y plus x. So notice how we found the derivative dy dx of this guy, and it's also in terms of x's and y's. That doesn't have to be the case, but in this case it is. So that's how you find the derivative, meaning dy dx, in implicit functions. Let's take a look at another example. So let's say this is the function, but now the question is, what it, when is the tangent line horizontal? How is that an implicit differentiation question, you know? Well, a lot of your exams might have something like this, where it's not really direct. But the first step always will be find the derivative, find the implicit differentiation. And then actually what we'll need to do is, a tangent line is horizontal precisely when the derivative is 0. So once we find the dy dx, we'll just set that equal to 0, and that's when we know that the tangent line is horizontal. So uh, the derivative of this guy is, well, let's take the derivative again of each term. So we have 4x cubed times the derivative of x. Again, that's just 1, plus 3y squared times dy dx equals product rule 1 times y plus x times dy dx. Again, that's just the product rule and chain rule combined. Now, taking all the terms with the dy dx's, which is this 
and this on one side, we can leave this here, giving us 3y squared dy dx, and then we'll have to subtract this guy, so minus x dy dx. On the other side, the y can stay where it is, and now we subtract 4x cubed. So again, we just brought this guy over here, and this guy over here. And we did that through addition, really. So now, taking the dy dx out in common, we're left with 3y squared minus x equals y minus 4x cubed. And the last step, just divide out by whatever's next to the dy dx, and we get y minus 4x cubed over 3y squared minus x. Now, if we want to find where the tangent line is horizontal, again, we just have to really set the numerator, y minus 4x cubed equal to 0, because when that's 0, the derivative will be 0. If the question instead were, when is the tangent line vertical, then we know that the derivative has to be undefined, meaning the denominator has to be 0. So in this case, the tangent line is indeed vertical when x equals 3y squared, because that's what happens when you said this equals to 0. So I hope this makes sense to you. I hope implicit differentiation is a lot more easier, and I hope you enjoyed this video.